Hey guys, what's up? It's Julia Rose 1135 here, and my video for you guys today is my band merch collection. So I have my complete dresser drawer filled with band merch sitting right next to me. So I'm gonna hop right into this, and they are in no particular order. I'm just grabbing off the top. First one we have, oh, this is my Rolling Stones t-shirt. And I got this for Christmas, but I picked it out. <laughs> Uh, I got that one at Kohl's. Next we have The Who. And I uh, just picked this one up at a thrift store. And I do have another Who shirt. I'm going to try to keep the bands that I have multiple of together. If I can find it. Maybe not. Oh, here it is. And here is my other Who shirt. And um, I got this from The Hard Rock. This was, I think, the artist series, the signature series that they do. Just looks like that. Next we have Jimmy Buffett. I got this one again at their shop, and it's the this one for you tour 2014. My dad's a real big Jimmy Buffett fan, and I thought this was a really cool shirt. And for 50 cents. I'm not complaining. Next we have Selena Gomez in the scene. We own the night tour 2011 and I did not actually go to the tour but I did find it at a thrift shop and I do like Selena Gomez and I liked her as Selena Gomez in the scene so I picked up that one. And next we have Breathe Carolina Hell is What You Make It. And I got this one at my first ever uh, warp Tour. There we go. And here is my other one. And then this is from the Savages Tour that I went to in Philly. Two years ago now? Two years ago, I think it was. And also, I have the Ready Set. And this was the Fall 2014 Tour. I went to go see. I also have the Ready Set. This was spring spring of 2012 yeah this is actually probably one of my favorite tour t-shirts I do own it is just really simple and then next is my ready set tank top that I got from Warp Tour uh, two years ago it just has him on it he doesn't actually do a lot of bad merch with him on so it's such a strange thing next we have uh, Jonas Brothers, when you look me in the eyes tour, this had to be. And I did obviously go to that tour. And then here we have the Burning Up tour. No, no. Lines, Vines, and Drawing Times. And this was just the tour shirt for that year. This was Burning Up tour. Yeah, this had to be Burning Up tour. I never paid attention to which tour. Oh my god, this looks gigantic. It is. I got everything in like a men's extra large. So it would always fit me. I know this is Burning Up Tour because it says this on, on it. So this is Burning Up Tour. Yeah, no, this is just the world tour. I can't remember. I never paid attention to the tours. It was just another concert for me to go to. So then there's that one. And then we have Nick Jonas in the administration. And the tortillas on this. I absolutely loved this shirt when it came out. Next we have the Beatles. And I got this one from Christmas and this is She Loves You. And I got this one at Hot Topic. And now I should have included this one with my Ready Set one since I'm trying to group all the bands together. But um, if you ever have watched um, the art classes that he does. The first one, he draws a crab, and when he draws the legs, he says to draw them like a spider, but then he says a spider is not a crustacean. And then I made a shirt that says spiders are not crustaceans. And the letters are falling off. Really badly. So I have that, and I just put my last name on the back. And my best friend made one for herself 
and then we made one for him and we gave it to him that warp tour and he actually wore it in one of his uh, vlogs that he does on tour. Things to uh, goes us Bayside or no 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 it goes us now Beebs. Oh, I missed another Beetle shirt. They appear everywhere. Because, um, if you didn't know, John Lennon wrote a song for his wife when she was pregnant for their son, who they didn't know was their son, who's named Julian, but he, the original name for him was supposed to be, if he was a girl, was Julia. So I'm really big into the Beatles. So, and I just have Let It Be. And I also have just this little one. It doesn't can't remember what it's from, but I have it. I've had it for years. It collects dust because I barely wear that anymore. We have Aerosmith. And again, I just got this one at a thrift shop. No idea what it's from, what it came from, but I have it. Next, we have my Kiss crop top. I got, and again, thrift store. A lot of my, my band shirts I do get from thrift stores. And here is my other Kiss shirt. Next we have my Falling Moon River shirt. This one I actually did get at a thrift shop. I have seen them live, but I never picked up a tour shirt from them. So you have that one, and this is probably, I used to love this shirt. Uh, it's What Are Good Girls Like Bad Guys. I even have a bracelet that goes along and says, um, I heart bad guys. And I have one more, but I don't know where it is currently. Oh, there it is. This is probably my favorite one. Uh, this is the... Um, I always consider this one the artwork for um, I'm Not a Vampire. It has the whiskey bottle on it. It's in the song, and this shirt actually has a hole in it, which is very sad and depressing because it is probably one of my absolute favorite shirts that I do own. Next we have Grateful Dead. And again, thrift store, but I do really love this top. It is a really, like I said, I think it's a crop top. Yeah. And this just says, Grateful Dead on tour, uh, 1980s. And I think this one came from Delia's, but I picked it up at a thrift store. But I think I remember seeing it there. Then we have this really ancient shirt that I have that I know I got this one from, I think, Delia's. It had to be or somewhere. No idea where I got this. I've had this for so long. And it's my Def Leppard shirt. I absolutely love Def Leppard. I've seen them three times in concert. Here it is. It's one of my recent ones because I've obviously had this one for years. It's meant to be cracked and faded. But I've had it for so long, it's actually now cracked and faded. So next is my Rockin' Republic Def Leppard shirt. And it's supposed to be the Hysteria Tour. And I got this one at Kohl's, but I absolutely love this shirt to death. One of my biggest, biggest band shirt collections, which I was super obsessed with, and that is Ghost Town. And this is the Game Freak one. It says, she's a wolf and I like the way she bites me. It has the Game Freak cover art, com com artwork thing that goes with it. This is just one I got for Christmas last year, two years ago now, whatever. And this is uh, GT... Back and has the little logo. Next, because I ordered a bundle for my birthday when the second album, The After Party, first came out. And I ordered uh, the big bundle. And it came with the striped shirt that looks like the Creepy Girl painting. So it's just stripes. And it says Ghost Town on the back. And next is just the uh, she looks so creepy. Artwork. This one I got at Hot Topic. It just says Ghost Town at the bottom. 
And then we have Under Wraps. And this one again, I just got it off topic. And then we have, this is probably one of my favorite songs that was on the after party. And it is, well, the original girl is from Off With Her Head, which was a song off their first album. And then she was for I'm Weird, I think. I'm Weird, or she was, I can't remember what song it was off the second album, but both songs were songs that I really liked. I haven't listened to Ghost Town in forever. Next, we have the All American Rejects, and I saw them two years ago now, and they didn't actually have band, like, tour t-shirts, so this was, I think, the only shirt they had, so I got this one. And then we have my Huey Lewis and the News. So I am such a big Back to the Future fan, and they came to my area. You might have went and saw them back in 2012. Next was another one of my thrift shop shirts that I found, but it's one of my favorite. And it says, The Man Who Sold the World. And it's David Bowie. Er, there's his foot all the way down there. Don't know, again. Got it at a thrift shop. And then we have um, Avril Lavigne, The Best Damn Tour. And this one she had opened up for the Jonas Brothers on my Burning Up tour date. Because it was Demi, her, and then uh, them. So I picked that up. We have a shirt that I wanted for Christmas probably five years ago now. And it is The Midnight Beast. And they are a YouTube band, kind of. And it actually is a tour shirt. I did not go and see them because they are British. But I thought it'd be super cool to get the tour shirt with all the, the dates on the back. Next, we have my One Direction shirts. And this one I just got at a thrift store, which is a super, super fetus design. Which just came from one of those street vendors. I know, because this is the design that they all keep. Next, we have my On the Road Again tour shirt. Which is my only One Direction tour shirt that I own. <laughs> and this is all the dates. And I did get mine in extra large and I'm really regretting it because it's super huge and I'm swimming in it. Next we have just this Night Memories scribble looking one that I got at Hot Topic for like five bucks. On clearance! And then I have this one that just has a little boys. Oh. And this one came from Claire's. And then I have this one, and it says, What makes you beautiful? And I want to say this is an official 1D shirt, but I'm not quite sure. Because I did get this one at a thrift store, and this one I did find came from Cotton. But it does say, What Meets You Beautiful, written by yeah, the writers in there. So, I don't think it might actually not be official the merchandise, but I consider it. Because, obviously, it kind of says it on the shirt! And then I also have my Run Direction hoodie. That is super fetus as well. And again, thrift store. I'm really good at thrift store shopping. If you couldn't tell by now. Next we have my Blue Auntie top, and I did actually go see them in concert in like 2011, but this one I just found at Target like two years ago. And then we have uh, the 1975, and this is the Robbers artwork, flower design, thingamajig. I'm going with thingamajig. And here is my, oh, where is it? And then I just have the regular 1975 album cover. Next we have just my one five seconds of summer top that I got from Target. And it just has all the boys on it. It's not one of the best designs, but I got it. And then we have my Ash shirt. 
which I just got done by uh, my one friend with a who has a t-shirt printing press thing. I have my idiot shirt and sorry it's so wrinkled. I wear this way too much. And it says that and it has the logo down at the bottom. And we have the skull. And this was another one of the Target designs that they had. They had three designs. And this was the second one. And then the third one was just the five seconds of summer derping since 2011. And then this one I found at Kohl's, which is so strange because I had no idea that Kohl's had tops. I saw they had a few, but I'd never seen this one. And I found this one on clearance, and it's just the Good Girls from the Good Girls video, photo shoot, whatever you want to call it. And the last five seconds of summer thing I have is just this hoodie, and it says five seconds of summer down the sleeve. And I also have this uh, ready set crew neck sweater thing that I got at the uh, fall show in 2014, I think. Yeah, pretty sure. I have uh, my Darkest Days hoodie that I found at a thrift shop. And I'm pretty sure they sold this at the concert that I went to. But that was years ago, so I found this one and pretty sure it's from that tour. It doesn't have a, oh it says 2012, so yeah it should be. I have a Sleeping with Sirens little tank that I got at Hot Topic. And I really do love this anchor design. And then last but not least I have this just Nirvana looking thermal. That I got, again, at Kohl's. So the majority of my shirts are Kohl's, thrift stores, and Hot Topic. I couldn't think of the last one. Although, if you don't get a band shirt from Hot Topic, then I don't know what you're doing with your life. So I hope you guys liked. Uh, tell me what bands you listen to, what bands you like what stack of band shirts you have between my ghost town and my one direction and everything and my jonas brothers i have a lot so i hope you guys like this video and i'll see you next time